So if you want to manipulate the pivot table, then you can do that uh, by changing the source data as well. But it is kind of different than what you would work with regular formulas. So I'm going to insert a pivot table over here. So I'm going to say pivot table. And this time I'm going to uh, insert this in an existing workbook. In the location, I'm just going to choose this area right here. And I'm going to press OK and then press OK. So you can see that the pivot table has been inserted right here. So I can display the name. I can display the category, the company and so forth. So I want uh, the name over here. I want the category in columns, as you can see. And I want the company over here just like this. So you can see that there's the uh, console, Microsoft, uh, Nintendo and Sony and then uh, the handheld um, uh, one uh, just like that. So let me just change this out just like that as well. So you can change this out just like this company. So according to what you want, you can change the uh, values out. So I'm going to have this one right here. The company I want to choose and so forth. So right now I got all the companies right there. So I want the price in there as well. So this is the sum of the price. So now uh, what you can also do is you can uh, change these things according to the name and so forth. And you can see something called subtotals over here. So you can go to the design section and then disable subtotals from the subtotal menu as well. So you can disable subtotals and enable subtotals according to what you want. So sort subtotals at the top or the bottom of all the group or do not display the subtotals as well. You can also disable the grand totals. So you can disable all the grand totals as you can see right here, or you can enable all the grand totals on for column only or on for rows only, uh, as you can see on for rows and columns. So that's the default one. So subtotals, I'm going to turn it off just like that. You can also work with report layout over here. So, so in compact form, just like this and so forth. So there are report layout right here. There's blank rows, so you can remove blank rows if there are any blank, blank rows over here. In my case, every row is filled up, so it does not work that way. You can have row headers, just like this, column headers over here, banded rows and banded columns, as you can see. And you can even choose the table design from right over here, according to what you want. Uh, in the analyze section, you can see that there are other things. There's way how you can refresh data and so forth as well. So right now, over here, PS Vita, you can see that it is $200. If I were to do it as $400, you can see it, that PS Vita, the, uh, the amount does not change right here. So what I can do is I can go to Analyze and then click on Refresh and the data table is refreshed just like that. If you want to see uh, some more data over here related to this, you can simply double click and you can see that where this data comes from. So you can see that it comes from PS Vita, handheld, Sony, just like that. So you can simply go over here and see where this data comes from, double click and you can choose the field containing the detail you want to show. So I'm going to choose the category right here and you can see that it can change uh, the value right there. So you can go over here and see its data just like that. So that is how you can uh, work and manipulate with pivot tables uh, in, inside of Microsoft Excel. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.